Welcome back to this more introduction for non-commercial. Today we're going to look at channels. So what is channels? Channels is essentially containers for layers and procedural nodes. So as you can see here, I have docked my channel palette here. And if you don't know how to dock stuff, I made a tutorial about the user interface. Looking here at the channel palette here, you can see here it doesn't contain anything at the moment. We can here go to right click and say add channel. And then we get this pop out asking us to name the channel. So we could say color, for example, here, color, we see here size, and that is the patch size. So essentially each individual UV tile will be this size. This is the bit depth. This is where you select 8 bit, 16 bit or 32 bit. In my case here, I'm going to use 16 bit because I'm using linear workflow and that's the best. I set this to normal. That's usually what it's set to unless you, you're working with vectors, for example. And down here, we have some data that we need to understand a bit about. In my case here, I'm making a color channel. So if I have scalar data set, and this is a checkbox mainly to essentially all of these settings when it comes to LUTs and color management, and then scalar versus color has some implication of your workflow. In my case, I'm going to untick this. Uh, if it's unticked, it essentially makes it a color channel and it's going to undergo LUT transformations. I'm going to hit here yes here. Okay. And we can see here now it should pop out a channel. We can see some basic information here 16 that's essentially the bit depth we can see here that it's made a color and if i would go back here and say scalar you will see this one will also change accordingly if i go here and actually look at my channel uh, current channel so i hit the the i button to get my pop out objects shader channel selection uh, if i take current channel and say color you can see here now down here it's also the lot is turned off and that's what i meant when you create a channel the relationship between the lot and the this checkbox scalar versus color is gonna uh, start to be visual for you and to visualize this i'm just gonna make a layer here and in this channel i'm just gonna take a uh, color node so that's a procedural layer and i'm gonna make it something like like gray here like so and now look when i hit the scalar data you can see here essentially the the lot here is going to be turned on or turned off on a, a scalar uh, a channel i would also go into the color node and check this one so it's actually scalar there and, and then it's going to be more predictable like so okay so i'm gonna deal with the color management in another one but yeah i just wanted you to know about when you create a channel it's good to practice to make a decision if it's a color or scalar channel so color will be anything with color data scalars will be bump roughness or masks you, you want to set those to uh, scalar data yeah so uh, let's take a look at this right click menu here. We can see here most of it is essentially the same as up here. So I usually go from here. There's a few things you can do here. You can go from like, for example, you can do export flattened. If you want to do export from from the channels menu, you can export current channel flattened or export all channels flattened. This will essentially export whatever content you have within your channels. I usually do that from uh, this export manager, more on that later. You can also do some uh, copy paste of, of a channel. So for example here, you wanna uh, duplicate this channel here, you can copy and we can then paste channel and you see you get a duplicate and we'll take everything in it and you maybe wanna do something base whatever worn as an alternative you can then use that one so most of the usual operations that you expect i don't use channels in this sense that often because i use an ograph and i mainly use them as export locations you can uh, for example resize patches or resize channels and uh, yeah more more on that when we get to that type of workflows down the line but it's good to know uh, have a look here 
and most of it is self-explanatory. Okay, so now I'm gonna delete all my channels and look at another thing here. For example, let's say that you have textures already exported somewhere else and you wanna import them into channels. There's this nifty little tool here on the channels menu here that's called channel presets. This is a way that you can import. So this is a way to actually, you know, create uh, channels. You can say, I wanna have my uh, uh, BRDF games and you get presets all set up for you but that this is not how I use it I use this mostly for importing paint you have this root path there if I go here and browse to a location here I have this export path here and I exported some textures a, a few channels out here into this location here so I'm just gonna choose this top folder here and then I'm gonna do a quick scan and it will essentially look into this um, directory and, uh, and look at the names. And you can choose here, okay, I want to import. So this is essentially content that lives in this folder, uh, something called base color, bump and roughness and speculus. So I'm just going to import base color, bump and roughness because I know that this one ha has content in them. Something else that I want to do here is essentially, I know the base color is color, but these two are scalar channels. I'm just going to tick those so I get it. And then just hit OK. And we will see here, it will actually now start to create channels and import data into them. And there we go. So now we have here my base color and it has content. So this one uh, is essentially a photo scan session that's going to be in my upcoming more project-based snail tutorial here for non-commercials and newbies. I also have a quick bump I created and a roughness. So now this is a way to then import content in, into Mario as well, and it will house it in two channels. So what is the channel then? If I look in the node graph here, it's essentially these guys here. So this is the channel node. This is the, essentially the container for our layers. And this in Mario sense, this would be a layer, uh, this paint node and this merge node, that's essentially a layer. And any time you add something, it will create a, a merge node and whatever you add to it. Another thing related to channels is the exporting. So even if I work in the node graph and when I build my nodes myself, I might not even have a, a essentially a channel node when I when I start. I usually slap on a channel node to export unless I'm using Bakepoint. But most of the time I create channel nodes and you can create channel node by just typing channel in the node graph and you will get a similar pop out menu that you got here when you created it from the actual channels palette directly. So I can do RGB and and hit ok and we will get an empty channel and you can see here and now if i insert the paint node we can just start here to look at it this is essentially a location just that i use when i use a no graph to export something out so when i export my channels i go to my export manager this is a place where you can select what you want to export in channels I can uh, remove them here and let's say that I want to add new export items and we have our channels that's in the project and on this side if you would use bake points and this is something I'm gonna come back to later and you can now here for example say base color add and you can do overrides here maybe you want to export like a lower resolution for a test you can say that and they will export it lower or, or higher yeah so you can do some settings here. You can even rename it. Uh, this file and channel, uh, file name here will essentially look at the channel name and uh, uh, create the essentially the name from that. And the UDIM is going to be if you have multiple UDIMs. In case you have three of them, take those and uh, export them. Yeah, so that's channels in a nutshell. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a painting. Bye bye.